looking forward to a really good stroll tonight. A good stroll amongst the art. A good stroll amongst the art. Uh, with my, you know. With your little, helper. well, it, it helps. With my helper. A little scotch helps everything. She's triple fisting, quadruple. Coming from the Houston Fine Art Fair, this is like a breath of fresh air. Honey, Sorry, that's folks. The, that's setting the bar so low. I talked to some people prior to becoming a media partner, and they were telling me, oh, you choose the right fair. <laughs> you know, compared to the Houston Fine Art. This is the good fair. This is the good fair. One of the better looking crowds in the past few years. Yes, yes. When you say better looking, are you mm. talking sartorial? All, all, everything. Shark faces, shark dress. Uh, the art looks great. Yeah, I how think. about that art? The space is much, much better than the space of the past. Yes. yes. There's a really interesting uh, variety of galleries, and there's some good, really good things here. You have a lot of space. You can stand back and look mm -hmm. at the art, and you can get close if you want without a crowd. You know what? I'm really about the sort of regional, quaint feeling fairs. So I like it. I like that you can actually have like intimate and like like good conversation. It's too many great Houston local people that we love. I know. We just can't get around to the art. Have you managed to see any art through these throngs no, of humanity? No, I can't even get a beer. I was telling them it's like high school reunion. Every year. It is like a really big one. What's more important, the social aspect or the art aspect? Social. <laughs> Social. I say a little bit of both. What's the vibe in the room, would you say? What do you think about art fairs? I hate them. What do you think about... <laughs> Are you selling swag? Lots of swag. Yeah. Cheap. It's very cheap. <laughs> rice, rice gallery. The only thing about rice that's cheap. We're cheap. If I don't make that decision right now, this thing is going to be gone forever. And right, and you'll never have it. You'll never have this one object. Yeah. That you probably will in another way. <laughs> you, you probably just, would. You probably, probably would because it's fine. probably not going to sell. I heard you made a sale already. We made a couple sales already. All right. I'm very so, excited about it. yeah, so the whole like the oil patch is in despair thing is not the case. We're totally. We Hi, love, we're Charlie. We're petroleum positive here. At Petro Charlie we are Sky. totally petroleum we're positive. <laughs> making the world a better place. I have. It's not anybody's <laughs> first time through a no. dip in commodity prices. No. Well, okay, I mean, we're, we're not going to talk about politics. Okay, let's I don't know about you, but I feel like I'm in Southern California. Yeah, well, with that sunset I mean, out there. Where is the beach? That's what we need. It's right beach. out there. But instead, we have construction. <laughs> it's like Malibu here. I, I've often thought that. She want me to remind you. I'll oh my God, is that again. you in a magazine? Look, look. I think uh, the Mexico City thing is fun. Me too. Those people are fun. Those people are delightful. They are sexy Mexicans. They are sexicans. Well, and you know what's fabulous is the fact that they're all together, and that to me really helps to kind of contextualize the work overall. Because if they were scattered, you'd have to work. I mean, I mean, there's this like Texas mythology that goes really far, which everyone's really fascinated everywhere. So, right, right. You know, we all love. Because we all ride horses. We all ride horses and drink shiners. <laughs> We've got a good bluesy vibe. We do. <laughs> we're sincere. We just don't care. We're hot I think and sweaty. We, I think we just don't care. I, maybe it's the heat and the sweat. We don't care. Oh, I'm loving it here. The weather is actually decent for like the first time ever. Um, and hey, don't, don't be dissing our weather, man. Sorry. That's right. All right, so, so the Houston art scene generally, what do y'all think? What do you think? Are we like... You're asking three artists. It's gotten bigger to the point where I can't keep track of... I used to feel like I could keep track of what was going on. And it's really hard to keep track of everything, man. It's getting big. As we get closer to hosting events like the Super Bowl, we will be able to show the United States that Houston has a lot more than just a football team or um, oil fields. Do we have a football team? Marshall who? McLuhan. Uh, no, yeah. So everybody's forgotten them, so I can now show them. Isn't again. that fun? If you hang in there long enough, you can be like the fresh new thing again. Um, well, at isn't the... that fun? <laughs> well, I'm not sure about fun. <laughs> What I will tell everybody, though, that the sad second part of Houston is I don't think they support artists enough, and people need to buy Houston art. That yes. is my absolute Yes, mantra. ladies and gentlemen. Preach. But buy it's true. Art. Buy Houston art now. Go out there and support the arts. Please do. Support the artists. Please. And art and artists. And arts education. And arts education. Yeah. Right on. What they say is. Yeah. <laughs> 
And now you and your partner, Reed, are getting married after how many years together? 34. 34 years together. You're getting married this soon, fall. Soon. Well, I will say best wishes to you. Thank you sir. very much. Best wishes on your marriage. Thank you. <laughs>